Hello everyone, it's the week of October 10th, 2011. My name is Adamo, and this is Better Than a Cop, brought to you by copblock.org. Before we get into this week's Better Than a Cop story, let's set the standard. Mark Fitzpatrick spent two decades at the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. A dedicated deputy, Mark enjoyed the job, helping others, fighting crime, and sexually assaulting women from time to time. According to the LA Times, Fitzgerald worked out of the Compton Station, had a history of sexual misconduct accusations spanning his two-decade career with the Sheriff's Department, and at one time asked a single mother, what are you going to do for me in order for me not to bring you to jail tonight? Fitzgerald then asked the woman to see her breasts, according to allegations made in a lawsuit filed against the department. Mark eventually lost his jobs for his perverted actions and was charged. It took the system three years to convict Mark of sexual assault and false imprisonment. He faces sentencing December 6 and could be imprisoned for up to 14 years. We're sure Mark's attorneys will argue that 20 years of using his badge for sexual favors should be enough to warrant a reduced or lighter sentence. Even if Mark is sent to prison, former cops are rarely put in general population and often given perks from the guards. And with that, let's move on. Vince Cordero, a 56-year-old man from New York City, was taking out the trash after work one morning when he heard a blood-curdling scream. He took a few steps, looked around, and saw someone underneath the car outside in front of his house. Vince yelled, Who the hell is it? And that's when a man jumped up from under the car and took off down the block. Seconds later, a woman also came out from the car, visibly distraught. According to the New York Post, the cops, who arrived after the assault, said, It appears the pervert had thrown the woman onto the ground and was trying to take her pants off. The NYPD has serious problems when it comes to preventing crimes, with actual victims. It's impossible to be everywhere at once, and in a city with severe gun regulations, it's nearly impossible to protect yourself from such an attack. Besides stating the obvious, the police did provide a drawing of the suspect. Despite the problems caused by the government's monopoly of protection services, Vince was able to do what police are paid to. He stopped a crime without using force or violence. On top of that, Vincent wasn't being paid or extorting billions of dollars from people he's not obligated or able to protect. And for that, he's definitely better than a cop. Pure. From intentional speech, proclaim short sure. I can venture Mr. Mention, mention with no vengeance, I'm free The same door, I've been knocking on for desperate need The same floor, I've been crashing on for nesh in my sleep The same phone, they be tapping on explodes in a beat The same floor, I've been dropping for the messes I teach If you have a story you'd like to see featured on Better Than a Cop, email us at coplock at gmail.com